Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Leviticus 13. We'll try to get this. The medical entire chapter is about leprosy chapter 14 is a lot about leprosy and this is serious business by God you're gonna find leprosy when Jesus comes and the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron saying when a man shall have in the skin of his flesh a rising a scab or bright spot and it be in the skin of his flesh like the plague of leprosy. Now leprosy in the Bible is also a type of sin. It's in the blood. It spreads. And you got to be separated. you got to cry unclean, unclean. Then he shall be brought unto Aaron, the priest. He's the high priest. Or unto one of his sons, the priest. Or the regular priest. Notice the priests are the doctors in the Old Testament. And their service they get by the offerings of the people. This is a perfect health care. Those that are before God, serving God day and night, are the ones in charge of medical. So... I'm telling you, and the laws against leprosy in Leviticus 13, many uh, regarded as the first model of san sanitary legislation. Arteo Gascon quotes a history of medicine from New York, Alfred and A. Kant, 1941. This set forth. The idea of to be clean for medical. Some medical, some doctors, I don't want to say medical, thought spicy foods, spicy fish, or diseased pork caused leprosy. Bet you don't catch up to the Bible. And there are strict standards about this. There is a taking a person who has leprosy and concealing them away from the population. Because leprosy spreads, not to the person only, but it spreads to others, to family. Quarantine. Why has HIV spread throughout the world is crazy? Because you didn't take those people who had it, you didn't quarantine them. You let them go into public bathrooms. You let them go into doctor's office. And the priest shall look on the plague in the skin of the flesh. And when the hair in the plague is turned white, and the plague in sight be deeper than the skin of his flesh. So whatever this thing is, it's inside the flesh. The hair is inside, I assume. It is the plague of leprosy, and the priest shall look on him and pronounce him unclean. Now you're unclean, you're out. You're out of the camp. Sorry. I don't care who you are. I don't care how well your family is. I don't care how much they love you. You're unclean. Get out. If the bright spot be white in the skin of the flesh, and in sight be not deeper than the skin, it's on the top of the skin, and the hair thereof be not turned white, then the priest shall shut up him, shut up, that has the plague seven days. Put them aside, put them in quarantine for seven days. 
if you only knew what the expression shut up meant. And the priest shall look on him the seventh day, the week. And behold, if the plague in his sight be at a stay and stopped, and the plague spread not in the skin, the priest, then the priest shall shut him up seven days more isolation. And the priest shall look on him again this seventh day. This will be 14 days now. And behold, if the plague be somewhat dark, and the plague spread not in the skin, it has gone to any other areas, it has not gotten large, the priest shall pronounce him clean. It is but a scab. And he shall wash his clothes and be clean. So for a Jew under this thing, you got to be careful about picking your scabs. <laughs> You pick your scabs, you make a bigger scab, you make a wrong diagnosis. All right, here's a scab. If you have a scab in your body that it, something weird about it, you're to go through this. You're to have the priest look at you and put in isolation. Better put in isolation and be, be warned and then, you know, not doing anything about it. And then you got a you got a whole blown epidemic. The scab is non leprosy. But if the scab spread much abroad in the skin, it's grown, it's furthered out. Maybe other places. After that he has been seen of the priest for his cleansing, he shall be the seed of the, he shall be seen of the priest again. So he's been declared okay, it's a scab, there's no problem. Uh priest, it's it's growing. Okay. And if the priest see that, behold, the scab spreadeth in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is leprosy. When the plague of leprosy is in the man, then he shall be brought unto the priest. Now watch this. We're 13 chapters in Leviticus. We've seen the priest cut open animals and divide the body parts of the animal kidneys livers all that now we see them same very men now that the priests are butchers and they're the doctors they know what a liver is they've been staring at all the livers of the sacrifices and the kidneys and the call and they find out a healthy one from a sick one and they'll know a healthy one from a sick one and the skin, and those animals, God says, you better make sure that animal is clean without blemish. You better believe they would look at that animal and know a scab and from anthrax. That was one of the things that happened in Egypt. So the butchers are the doctors and the doctors are the butchers. So what is the expression when you have a surgeon? Don't you call him the butcher? Where'd you get that from? You got it from the King James Bible. Wouldn't you like to have a man... If he's going to work on your body in any way and diagnose any problem that you got, wouldn't you want to have that man be closer to God than anybody in your community? And I mean community, nation. If any doctor you would have want to be, hey, that's the one that was at the altar the other day and he did not fry like a couple of the sons of Aaron, so he must be right with God. That's the one I want to go see. And the priest shall see him. And behold, if the, uh, if the rising be white in the skin, the sore, and it turn the hair white. Now some of these names are going to be like, wow. There be quick, raw flesh in the rising. Now, I never heard that one. I can just imagine what that is. Mm -hmm. It's pussing, but quick, raw. Ew. It is an old leprosy in the skin of his flesh. And the priest shall pronounce him unclean and shall not shut him up, for he is unclean. And if the leprosy break out abroad in the skin, all over, and the leprosy cover all the skin of him that hath the plague, from, the, from his head even to his foot, almost like Job. But Job, we're told, is boils, but we're going to read about boils in a minute. Wheresoever the priest looketh. <laughs> Man, he just covered. 
Then the priest shall consider. <laughs> the priest shall consider. And behold, if the leprosy has covered all his flesh, he should pronounce him clean. That has the plague, it is turned white. He is clean. Tell him about this whiteness and reference to leprosy. He's been spotted, but he becomes out white. In the tribulation period, you got a spark, you got a mark. But when the raw flesh appeareth in him, he shall be unclean. Why is he unclean now? Because he's gushing and gooing and bleeding and pussing. And we, we, we that read that the other night. If a woman's unclean by afterbirth, she's unclean. Here's someone who's pussing and gooing. That's unclean. You know, when a when a Jewish child comes run to mama, mama, I cut my finger, she takes care of it, now she's unclean from the even. And she shall wash it, wash her clothes, and that boy shall wash his clothes unto even, then he shall be clean. That many people don't wash their, their hands and all that. And the priest shall see the raw flesh. I don't know if I would want to look at that. And pronounce him to be unclean, for the raw flesh is unclean. It is a leprosy. A leprosy. It's not lepr it's it's leprosy, but it's own classification. He's broken out. Or, if the raw flesh turn again and be changed in unto white, he shall come unto the priest. So he's been pronounced unclean, he's a leper. Priest, look, I'm turning white. A brown man turning white. There was a brown woman that turned white into Saul. Can a leopard change his spots to bite? Can an Ethiopian change his spots? A leopard? Maybe they open Jesus' color. And the priest shall see him. So like I told my wife today, I was reading, you're at a doctor's office, you're sitting there, and they open up the door. The doctor will see you now. Where'd you get that expression from? Leviticus. Isn't God great? People are saying things that they don't even know are coming out of the Bible, and then they'll turn around and say, well, how do you know the Bible is written by man? Because you're talking the Bible, you don't even know what you're saying. And behold, if the plague be turned into white, then the priest shall pronounce him clean that has the plague. He is clean. He's been healed. Okay, another paragraph. The flesh also in which even in the skin thereof was a boil. There's Job. And is healed. And in the place of the boil, I've had a boil, and boy, they're not fun. There be a white raising. Rising. No hair. Or a bright spot. Watch out for the spots. White. And somewhat reddish. And it be showed to the priest. And if when the priest seeth it, behold, it be in sight lower than the skin. And here's the hair. And the hair thereof be turned white. The priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a plague of leprosy broken out. Of the boil. There's something about this white hair in the skin. But the priest look on it, and behold, there be no white hairs therein. And if it be not lower than the skin, but be somewhat dark, then the priest shall shut him up. Shut up. No. Seven days. And if it spread much abroad in the skin, so he shut up. He's got one spot. Now he comes back and, and he's got three or four of them, which is unusual for a boil. Usually it just grows. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a plague. But if the bright spots stay in his place and spread not, it's a burning boil. Ooh, I'll tell you burning. And the priest shall pronounce him clean. So Job was clean. Covered head to foot. With gooey, ooky boils that shoot across the room, as I remember. But the gooing made him unclean. Or if there be any flesh in the skin whereof there is a hot burning, 
And I think God got a great description. Hot burning. And the quick flesh that burneth has a white bright spot. Somewhat reddish or white. So this is like kind of a burning rash. Look at Ephesians 4.26. Let's see what that is. Ephesians 4.26. I just saw that now. Ephesians 4.26. What would be in Ephesians about this? I've got my curiosity. B, C, D. All right. So it would be rash anger. I don't know why I put that there. Okay. Burning. Hot burning in the quick flesh that burns with a white bright spot, somewhat reddish or white. Then the priest shall look upon it and behold, if the hair in the bright spot be turned white, there's that hair, white hair, and it be slight deeper in the skin, it is leprosy broken out of a burning. Wherefore the priest shall pronounce him unclean, it's a plague of leprosy. Maybe it was a 419, just uncleanness and that. No, it definitely says 426 and 27, so... Oh well. But the priest look on it, and behold, there be no white hair in the bright spot. Hair, bright spot. And it be no lower than the other skin. So it's inside, it's dimpled. But be somewhat dark, then the priest shall shut him up seven days. And the priest shall look upon him the seventh day. And if it be spread much aboard in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It's a plague of leprosy. Now you take the seventh day. What if that seventh day was a Sabbath day? Remember what Jesus said? Don't you take care of a lamb that fell in a hole? Don't you take care of it? Don't you even do circumcision if it's the eighth day on the Sabbath day? So they're violating their own rule. The whole nation has been plagued with leprosy. I guarantee at the temple, with all the leprosy that Jesus done, they're lining up on leprosy day. And on the seventh day, they, they got to go look at that guy. Somebody's got to walk. And if the bright spot stay in his place, stay, and spread not in the skin. It's kind of, kind of weird. You know, here's this thing kind of crawling around. And spread not in the skin, but it be somewhat dark. It is a rising of the burning. Ouch. Your skin that has an itchiness is not rising up. It's infected. It's fussing. And it's burning. It's a very severe heat rash. It's what it is. And the priest shall pronounce him clean, for it is an inflammation of the burning. Ouch. It's a swelling. And, and it's funny because there is no mention of ointments or anything. If it's not leprosy, okay, he's clean. You think that it would say, okay, now take this ointment. But there's no mention of ointments at all. There's no cure for leprosy, except for Jesus. If a man or woman have a plague upon the, be the head or the beard. I love this verse. If a man or woman have a plague upon the head or, or the beard. I can see the woman with a beard. He it's one of those funny places in the Bible. Then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin. There's it deeper in the skin again. It's not on the skin, it's in the skin. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. So if you're looking at somebody and they got a thin yellow hair, uh oh. It is dry skull, even leprosy upon the head or beard. And the priest look on the plague of the skull, and behold, it be not in sight deeper than the skin. It's not in the skin. And that there is no black hair in it. The Jews have black hair. Black as a raven. 
Then the priest shall shut up him that has the plague of the, of the skull seven days. And in the seventh day, the priest shall look upon the plague, and behold, if the skull spread not, stays in the plague, and there be in it no yellow hair, and the skull be not in sight deeper than the skin, he shall be shaven, but the skull shall not be shaven, almost like a mohawk, or this little patch. He'd be walking around, he's got this little patch on his head, or this little patch on his, on his face. And people be looking at him like, uh-huh, you got a disease, get away from me. The skull shall he not shave, and the priest shall shut him up, shut him that has the skull seven days more, 14 days. You see how technical God is being? He could just said for everything that looks like leprosy, shut him up seven days. Look at him. If it's not really sure, shut him up for seven more days. And then look at it again. If it's done this, all right, he's unclean. If it's this, he's clean. But God is, man, each of the body parts, each of the inflammation, each of the, he's describing, he wants you to get it down. This is serious. In the seventh day, the priest shall look on the skull. And behold, if the skull be not spread in the skin, nor be in sight deeper than the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him clean, and he shall wash his clothes and be clean. But if the skull spread much in the skin after his cleansing, all right, this is after your priest looks at your clean, wash yourself. Uh, priest, yeah, that, I got more spots. Then the priest shall look on him, and behold, if the skull be spread in the skin, the priest shall not seek the yellow hair. He is unclean. For the skull be in his sight at a stay, stop, that there is a black hair grown therein. The skull is healed. He is clean. And the priest shall pronounce him clean. Next paragraph. If a man also or a woman have in the skin of their flesh bright spots, even white bright spots on brown skin, then the priest shall look, and behold, if the bright spots in the skin of their flesh be darkish white, it's a freckled spot that groweth in the skin, he's clean. Freckles are clean. The man whose hair is falling off his head, he is bald. Yeah, he's, wait a minute, we're talking about leprosy, God, and you got to throw in the bald head. I mean, you just lose your hair. There's no bumps or itching or anything. You're just bald. You're clean. Some people think, you know, if God didn't say it, oh, my, my hair is falling out. It must be something. Not your, you just old age, losing it. He that has his hair falling off from the part of his head toward his face, he is forehead bald, yet he is clean. So two verses out of 59 verses about a bald head. Hair loss. Now, if there be in the bald head or bald forehead a white reddish sore, it is leprosy sprung up. That's not the kind of word. Sprung, you know, flowers spring up. Sprung up in the bald head. Or his bald forehead. Then the priest shall look upon it. And behold if the rising of the sore be white red in his bald head. Or in his bald forehead. As a leprosy appeareth in the skin of his flesh. He is leprous man. He is unclean. The priest shall pronounce him utterly unclean. His plague is in his head. So what do we say? It's all in his head. Out of the Bible again. Boy, we get a lot of expressions out of Leviticus 13. Now this is interesting. Now think about Jesus' time. All the lepers people. And the leper in whom the plague is, his clothes shall be rent. Job did that. Job 120. And his head bare. He's got to shave his head. Not just, you know, make it short here. Shave it. 
and he shall put a covering upon his upper lip. His finger or something. And shall cry and anybody comes near him. Somebody starts walking by. Unclean. Unclean. Stay away from me. Millions of leprosy bacteria lives in the nose. You can catch leprosy from a sneeze. Bacteria dried out can live several days unwashed. Let's wait for them to wash. Unwashed plates can be affected. That's why God kept telling you to wash. And remember he said, go wash. Well, I got a problem, priest. It's spreading. Did you wash? Yeah, I washed. Okay, if you washed... And the bacteria is gone and it came back, we got a problem. That's why God said wash. And that way, while you're still walking around people, if you do have leprosy and you've done what the Bible says to do, and then you find out afterwards, hey, it's still leprosy, you have reduced the effect for others. Again, what it says, leprosy one of the lives in your nose. So God knows where to put your where to cover? Cover your lips, just in case you sneeze by them. And shall cry unclean, unclean. You didn't see one leper do that with Jesus. And you did not see Jesus Christ tarnished by leprosy of these people. Matter of fact, he had ten lepers. One of them came back and praised him for it. He had a leper. He told, he says, I want you to go back to those priests and offer, what's well, going to be Leviticus uh, 14, Lord willing, the next night. Offer the sacrifice of Moses. And you imagine that guy turning back to the priest. Now, here's the thing. Here's a reminder. He had to go to the priest and be declared unclean as leprosy. Now he's got to go back to the priest and say, priest, look at me. Well, by golly, you're clean. How'd you get clean? Jesus did it. And after they faint and get all upset of envy, now they got to dust off the scrolls and find Leviticus 14 and find out what they need to do because no one has ever been clean, as far as a Jew, of leprosy for them to open up Leviticus 14 and do what needs to be done. Except for Naaman, the Gentile. Nowhere in the Old Testament is being recorded a Jew being cleansed of leprosy that had leprosy. Yeah, yeah but that's before, and there was no cleansing. She just cleared it up and they moved on. She was separated seven days. Right? She was separated seven days, yeah. But there was nothing given for her for the offering. So now, 47, another chapter, another paragraph break. And I'm going to take 47 down to 59. I'm going to also apply that today to mold, mildew, and anything form of thereof. Because it likens. And then tomorrow, well, the next day, Lord willing, chapter 14, we're going to see this stuff get in your house. It gets under your skin. And I'm, I'm not doing the pun. You, What we read is under your skin, the leprosy. I, that's no pun intended. As comical as I am, it gets under your skin. Now we're going to read, it gets in your skins or your garments or your linens. And chapter 14, Lord willing, is going to get in your walls. And these things point to a period in time in the tribulation period where it's going to run rampant. The garment. Also that the plague of leprosy is in. Whether it be a woolen garment made of sheep or a linen garment, whether it be in the in the warp or wolf or linen or woolen, whether in a skin of animal or in anything made of skin, leather, if the plague be greenish. Or reddish. So we've gone from the white. We're going to greenish. A reddish in the garment. Or in the skin. Either in the warp. Or wrap. However you say that. Or in the wolf. 
or in anything of skin, it is a plague of leprosy, and shall be shewed unto the priest. You're going to bring it to the priest. This is medical. And the priest shall look upon the plague and shut it that hath the plague seven days, like you did with a human. And he shall look on the plague on the seventh day. If the plague be spread in the garment, either in the war, or in the wolf, or in the skin, God wants you to know, or in any work that's made of skin, the plague is a fretting leprosy, it is unclean. Oh, that's my favorite dress. Oh, that's, that's the hive of a deer I caught. He shall therefore burn that garment, whether war or wool, in the woolen or in the linen, or anything of skin, whether the plague is, for it is a fretting leprosy, it shall be burnt in the fire. There is no healing. Burn it. If the priest shall look and behold the plague be not spread in the garment, either in the war or the wolf or any of these other skin. You gotta keep saying this over and over. Then the priest shall command that they wash the thing wherein the plague is. And he shall shut it up seven days more. Fourteen days now. And the priest shall look on the plague. After that it is washed. And behold if the plague have not changed its color. And the plague be not spread. It is unclean. Thou shalt burn it in the fire. It is fret inward. Fret is corrode. Corrode. Wear away. Irritable. Whether it be bare within or without. It's been corroded. If the priest look and behold the plague be somewhat dark. After the washing of it. Then he shall rend it out of the garment, or out of the skin, or out of the war, or out of the robe. Have you read the Bible completely? Every word. So, you wash the garment, it has not spread. Cut out that spot where the leprosy is. If it appears still in the garment, either in the warp, or in the wolf, or in anything of skin, it is a spreading plague, thou shalt burn that wherein the plague is with fire and a garment either warp or wolf or whatsoever thing of skin it be which thou shalt wash if the plague be departed from them then it shall be washed the second time and shall be clean now let's see if i can read this one norwegian leprosy act Strict reference of the Bible, principle of a leopard, and their leprosy from following the Bible, what the Bible said in Norwegian, Norway. The leprosy went from 2,858, it went down to 69 by following the Bible. They made a law. America won't heed to the Bible. She won't follow the laws of the Bible. So why is all these things rampant? Why is STDs all rampant? Because you're not doing the sexual acts the way God says to do it. And then your people who are infected, you're just letting them walk around being pectoraries. That's a word I made up. This is the law. Norwegian law. This is the law of the plague of leprosy in a garment of woolen or linen, either in the war or the wool or anything of skins. To pronounce it clean and to pronounce it unclean and we got one more full chapter coming up about leprosy two chapters in the middle of lepros uh, leprosy leprosy in the middle of leviticus about leprosy a very serious disease 